Hello everybody, welcome to Fast Classes. Today we are here with a video for you all containing class 10 English poem. The name of the poem is A Poison Tree written by William Blake. So let's know more about this poem. But before that learners, if you are viewing my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel so that you get the notifications of my upcoming videos. So before moving to the poem, learners, let us know about the poet who has written this beautiful poem with a deep meaning. It's written by William Blake and he belonged to the pre-romantic period in English literature. Although he did not have formal schooling, he became a mystic poet by his ability to see the world of God behind the physical world. So here learners, this poet, William Blake, he belonged to pre-romantic period in English literature. And in his childhood, he did not get the facility of going to a formal school. Even then, he became a mystic poet because he had the ability to see the world, the world of God behind the physical world. Means whatever he saw physically, the environment, the nature, the surrounding, he was able to relate it with the God. Thus, he became a famous poet and that's how we have the poem here to read here today. So let's move on to the poem. So students, as this is a pre-romantic poet, he has used many old words, old English words, which we will understand with the help of the meanings which is given here. So let's read the stanza first and then understand the meaning of it. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my wrath did grow. So here, the poet is saying that he was angry. He was angry with his friend once upon a time. And this angerness, what he had, the wrath, W-R-A-T-H, wrath, it is written here. It means anger. It's an old English word used. So he said, when I said this wrath, this anger of mine to my friend, I shared it with him. It got end. I finished it. I cleared it. And then he says, I was angry with my foe. When he was angry with his foe, with his enemy, foe means enemy. But he did not tell his angerness or he did not share his angerness with his enemy. And instead, in, uh, instead his wrath, his anger kept on growing. I told it not, my wrath did grow. The poet says that I did not told my anger, my wrath to my foe. And it kept on growing. So here we get the meaning, the two different meanings here that when he's sharing his angerness with his friend, it gets to an end and they are good again, they are friends again. But on the other hand, when he was angry with his enemy, with his foe, he did not share with him and it kept on growing. So next he says that, and I watered it in tears, night and morning with my tears. And I sang it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. Then here the poet says that when I did not share my anger and my wrath with my foe, with my enemy, it kept on increasing, it kept on growing in my heart. And here the poet is trying to compare his angerness with a tree, with a poisonous tree, with an apple tree, okay? So your learners, the poet says, I kept on watering it with tears. That angerness, it kept on growing and I kept on watering it with tears every night and every morning with my tears. Here, as he, the poet is comparing with trees and when we water the trees, it gets nourishment and it grows. In the same way here, his angerness, his hatred started growing and it was nourished with its tears and the poet's tears. Then he says, I, and I sang it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wise. So adding all to more nutrients to it, as he's comparing it to a plant, to a tree, he says, for giving more nourishment, I sang it with smiles. Means I kept on giving it heat and light. As you nourish a tree and a plant with heat and light to make it a proper growth, to grow more strong. In the same way here, he said, I sound it with smiles. Here he was nourishing his angerness and hatred with the smiles, the fake smiles, and with soft, deceitful wiles, and with soft and very kind, dishonest, 
tricks. He was trying to hide his angerness with his foe. So he was coming in front of the foe with the enemy. He was he was talking, he was conversing, but he had the fake smiles and the deceitful wiles, the planned tricks, the dishonest tricks against his foe, against his enemy. And this is all, this is how it kept on growing in his heart. Okay. Then further he says that. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. Then the poet further says that it kept on growing both day and night. As he was nourishing its tears and tears and the deceitful wiles, the tree, that is the anger, it kept on growing both day and night, till it bore an apple bright, till that poison tree had a a ripe, bow, ripe apple in it, till it bore a bright apple in it. And here it's uh, his saying apple as he's comparing his hatred and his fear and his enmity with an apple tree. Okay, so he's saying until and unless it had a good apple, bright apple there, it kept on growing both day and night. And my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine. And he says, then once it was seen, it was seen by my friend, my, my foe, my enemy, that it was shining brightly, that the apple is shining in my garden. And he knew that it was mine. And he, he knew that it was one of his friends. But I internally was not so happy and satisfied. And I was growing hatred and jealous in me. But the foe did not know that. And he just saw that the apple is so bright and it's shining. And he thought it was his friends. So let's see what happens. Then he further says, And into my garden stole, where the night had waked the pole. In the morning glad I see my foe outstretched beneath the tree. And this learner, this was just a trick by, uh, by the poet here, which he was trying to uh, trap his enemy, trap, trap his foe. And that is why he was just trying to have a very good sweet apple which was seen from outside but inside it was full of hatred and poison which was there deep inside his heart. So he says, and into my garden stole and that rich, the ripe apple which was poured in an apple tree was stolen from my garden at one, at one night. And the, the night was as if it was veiled by the pole. It means it was covered with the pole stars. It was all dark and the stars were shining brightly on the sky. It was covered with all the stars. And at the time, my shining bright apple was stolen from my garden. And then the, the, the poet says that in the morning, glad I see my foe outstretched beneath the tree. Then the poet says, I was so happy in the morning. I was so glad in morning to see that my foe was outstretched. Your outstretched means lying dead outsets beneath the tree. So learners here the poet saying that he was so happy to see his foe lying dead beneath the tree. So it was so sad that uh, because he did not clear or uh, clear his misunderstanding what he was having and it kept on growing and it grew to a certain extent that he even wanted to take his life. So here we understand that even a small misunderstanding between your friends, between your companions may lead to a, such a great extent that you may could take the life of a person too. So it's very necessary to clear your misunderstandings. So this is the very deep meaning, the message with the poet wants to give us through this poem. And here we come to end with of this poem. I hope you all understood it. It was helpful for you all. And if you like this video, do like it and do like, share and subscribe for updates. Till then, be happy, stay safe.